So the thing with planning things, I just really suck at it. And I wanted to do, I think, um, two more videos. Best of 2020 and the di disappointments of 2020 before the year ends. And fortunately, that's the thing with me. Planning things, they don't really go as planned. So what's new? So yeah, um, hopefully this video is up before the actual year ends. I was tagged by <laughs> Salve from Gokover Books to do the before the new year starts book tag. So let's get started. So the first question, describe your 2020 reading experience in three sentences. So first would be 2020 is definitely my biggest year for reading. I usually average 25 to 30 books a year and I've never imagined that I actually would be able to get to 50 books. And looking at my Goodreads challenge, I've already reached 70 plus. And that's that's a huge win. That's that's more than double my usual. And second is a more diverse year. 2020 is definitely a more diverse year for me. This is the year that not only have I read more books, I've also read a ton of books from different authors, especially from authors of color. And 2020 is the year I discovered a lot of Filipino authors some I have heard of before and some I have never heard of before. And that's a huge thanks especially to Weekathon, which also started this year. And the third would be 2020 is the year that I got to immerse myself in the booktube community. I started booktube in June. Or was that May? I forget. Is it, is it, I think I recorded May and uploaded on June. And thanks to Booktube, I got to meet a lot of people, a lot of you guys, and I'm, I'm really thankful for that one. Despite some drama in the year, I'm, I'm just... It's mostly a great way, another way of immersing in the world of books, so I'm, I'm happy to be part of this community, even if it's hardly been a year. So that's the reading experience for my 2020. And next question, what's your new year's resolution as a reader? So I've, I've already talked about this in my previous video. My usual new year's resolution is to spend less, read more. I mean, to lessen my spending on buying new books and reading more of what I already have. And of course, I usually fail at that. But hopefully 2021 will be the year that i actually get to do that because i plan on cutting down on my physical books and going for ebooks i have more control when it comes to ebook buying so yeah i think that's a good plan for 2021 instead of outright banning myself from buying books i'm going to set a monthly limit and whatever i set aside for that month if i won't spend it for that month i can spend it for the following month or whenever i can spend for a book but the target is less physical books more on ebooks because lately the physical books are really getting expensive while the ebooks go on sale a lot and there's no panic buying for me for me at least there's i don't panic buy because they're ebooks they don't get sold out and they go on sale a lot. So yeah, that's the plan and hopefully I can follow through on that one. And okay, next. <laughs> what will be the very first book you'll buy this new year and why? And I'm gonna say hopefully nothing yet. Because like I said, I'm, I'm going to control my spending. And I already have a lot of unread prints and ebooks. So yeah, the very first book hopefully is nothing. But yeah, like I said, I'm very bad with planning, so if something comes up and remind me that I've been reading for that book, then I might cave and buy something, but 
definitely not planning on not buying anything unless I really 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 want to so yeah N nothing no buying hopefully uh, so next one is how many books that you own are left unread during 2020 <laughs> Let's let's not go there. <laughs> let's just not. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Last question: Will you be joining or creating any readathon this 2020? And the only readathon that I plan on joining is definitely Weekathon. Everything else, all other readathons, I've already forgotten. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm forgetful. But if it appears. And I'm reminded that a readathon exists or that readathon is there. I will join. If I got time, I mean, why not? Whatever readathon I'll stumble into, I'll join it if I can. But definitely the one readathon that I will absolutely join is Weekathon. So, yeah, looking forward to that. And yeah, that's the last one. I know I said I really bad with planning but I still plan on posting my best reads for the year and disappointing reads for the year I'll be posting those sometime in January so uh, yeah see you guys around and happy new year